Imagine looking up at the night sky, a familiar canopy of stars we have charted for millennia. Now imagine something new appears, not a star. Not a planet from our own solar system, but a traveller from a distant, unknown star system silently passing through our cosmic neighbourhood. This isn't science fiction. This is the story of three I slash Atlas, an object that has journeyed for millions, perhaps billions of years across the vast, empty expanse between the stars. When it was first spotted, it appeared as just another faint smudge of light, a transient visitor on a long and lonely trajectory. But this visitor carried with it the secrets of its birthplace, a place we can only dream of seeing. The discovery of any interstellar object is a momentous occasion for astronomy. These objects are incredibly rare messengers, offering us a physical piece of another solar system without ever having to leave our own. They are time capsules, preserving the chemical and physical conditions of the star system where they were formed. The arrival of three, I slash Atlas sent a ripple of excitement through the scientific community, presenting a golden opportunity to study alien material up close. It was a chance to ask profound questions. Are other solar systems like ours? What are they made of? The answers, we hoped, were locked away within this enigmatic wanderer waiting to be deciphered. What exactly is an interstellar object? In the simplest terms, it is a celestial body, like a comet or an asteroid, that is not from our solar system. Think of our solar system as a large, sprawling estate, with the sun as the grand house at the centre. All the planets, asteroids and comets that belong to us are like the family and staff who live and work on this estate, forever circling the main house. An interstellar object, however, is like a traveller from a faraway land who just happens to cut across the property on their journey elsewhere. They aren't bound by the rules of our estate, they are just passing through. These cosmic vagabonds are born in other star systems, orbiting their own parent stars for eons, but sometimes a dramatic event like a gravitational nudge from a giant planet or a close encounter with another star can fling them out of their home system. They are then cast adrift into the vast emptiness of interstellar space, the void between the stars. For millions of years they wander through the dark, cold galaxy. By sheer chance, some of their paths might intersect with our solar system. The discovery of such an object is a profound event as it gives us our first and only chance to study material from another star system directly before the 2017 discovery of Oumuamua, the first confirmed interstellar object. Their existence was purely theoretical. Astronomers had long suspected that such objects must be out there, ejected from their parent systems during the chaotic process of planetary formation. But finding one is like trying to spot a single unlit pebble thrown across a vast dark ocean at night. Their rarity makes each one a priceless specimen for scientific study, a unique opportunity to peek into the building blocks of worlds beyond our own. To study a faint distant traveller like Three Eye Slash Atlas, you need a very special kind of eye. You need the most powerful space telescope ever built, the James Webb Space Telescope or JWS. Launched on Christmas Day in 2021, Webb is an engineering marvel. It is not just an incremental improvement on previous telescopes like Hubble. It is a revolutionary leap forward. Its primary mirror, a stunning honeycomb of 18 gold-coated hexagonal segments, is over six times larger in area than Hubble's, allowing it to collect far more light. This immense light-gathering power means Webb can see objects that are much fainter and much more distant. It can peer back in time to the dawn of the universe, but its power is not just in its size. Webb is designed to see the universe in infrared light. Infrared is the light of cool objects like wandering interstellar comets. It can pierce through cosmic dust clouds that obscure star and planet birthplaces. For an object like 3 i slash atlas Webb's capabilities are a game-changer. As this interstellar visitor travelled away from the sun into colder, darker space, it became incredibly faint in visible light. Ground-based telescopes and even Hubble would struggle. But Webb's sensitivity to faint infrared glow lets it continue tracking. That allowed astronomers to study it longer and in far greater detail. It's like military-grade night vision to see something invisible to the naked eye. The telescope is a collaboration between NASA, the European Space Agency and the Canadian Space Agency. When 3i slash Atlas was first discovered, one of the most pressing questions was simple. How big is it? Early observations from ground-based telescopes were tricky. The object was surrounded by a coma, 
a fuzzy cloud of gas and dust. It forms when a comet-like body gets close to the sun and its ices sublimate. This hazy shroud made it incredibly difficult to see the solid nucleus hidden within. It's like trying to measure the size of a person standing in thick, swirling fog. You can see the fog, but you can't quite make out the person at its centre. Based on the brightness of the coma and assumptions about reflectivity, astronomers came up with a range of estimates. Most early calculations suggested a nucleus only a few kilometres in diameter. Some models even put it at less than a kilometre across. Those were our best guesses at the time, but they were fraught with uncertainty. Then came the James Webb Space Telescope. As 3i slash Atlas moved farther from the Sun, its cometary activity subsided and the coma faded. Webb's powerful infrared eye was able to cut through the remaining haze and measure the faint thermal glow emitted by the nucleus itself. The results were, to put it mildly, jaw-dropping. The new measurements revealed that 3i slash Atlas is not a small chunk of rock and ice. Its nucleus is enormous. The latest data indicates a diameter of approximately 50 kilometres. That is utterly massive for a comet-like object. To put that into perspective, this makes 3i slash Atlas significantly larger than about 99% of the comets in our own solar system. The previous estimates were off by a factor of 10 or more. It's the difference between thinking you saw a small car in the fog and realising once the fog clears that you were actually looking at a freight train. Understanding a size of 50 kilometres in a cosmic context can be difficult, so let's use some analogies to bring it home. Imagine the island of Manhattan. Now imagine an object more than twice as long as Manhattan end-to-end. -end. That's the scale we're talking about with 3i slash Atlas. Or think about the city of Paris. 3i slash Atlas would stretch across its entire metro area and then some. This is not just a small piece of debris. It is a substantial celestial body, a minor world in its own right. A mountain range's worth of material hurtling through our solar system. When we compare this to other known objects, its size becomes even more striking. Halley's Comet, a famous giant, has a nucleus only about 15 kilometers long. Three I slash Atlas dwarfs it. It's even larger than the object that likely caused the dinosaur's extinction, about 10 kilometers across. This interstellar visitor is a true behemoth, a giant among comets. Its sheer scale surprised astronomers and challenges models of how objects are ejected from star systems because it tells us about the environment where 3 i slash Atlas was born. Ejecting an object of this mass needs a very powerful gravitational kick, a powerful lesson in the importance of direct observation in science. Measuring the size of an object millions of kilometres away is a remarkable feat of science and technology. It's certainly not as simple as holding up a ruler. Astronomers have a clever toolkit of techniques they use to study these distant bodies. One common method for distant objects is measuring thermal emission. Every object above absolute zero radiates energy. That radiation is primarily infrared. The emitted energy depends on temperature. It also depends on surface area. It's like judging a hidden campfire by the warmth on your face. First step, estimate the object's temperature. Temperature estimated from distance to the sun. Farther away, equal sign colder. Next, assume the object's albedo. Albedo is how reflective the surface is. A dark, charcoal-like surface absorbs more sunlight and heats up. A bright, icy surface reflects light and stays cooler. Measure the total infrared with a telescope like Webb. Work backwards to get surface area. From surface area, derive the object's diameter alternate method. Observe an occultation. Time the star's dimming from multiple locations on Earth. But Webb's direct thermal measurements after the coma dissipated proved more reliable. The revelation that 3i slash Atlas is so enormous has profound implications for our understanding of planetary science and galactic demographics. If such large bodies can be ejected from their home systems, it suggests that the population of interstellar objects wandering the galaxy might be more massive on average than we previously thought. We had been searching for interstellar pebbles, interstellar boulders, interstellar mountains roaming the void. This forces us to reconsider our models of how many such objects might be out there. This finding also tells us something vital about planet formation in other star systems. Building a 50-kilometer object requires a protoplanetary disk rich in solid materials. This suggests that the star system that 3i slash Atlas came from was likely very massive and had an abundance of the raw ingredients needed to build large worlds. 
it lends weight to the idea that large planet-forming disks might be common in the galaxy. The existence of 3i slash Atlas is a strong piece of evidence that the processes that formed our own solar system are not unique. Furthermore, the sheer size of 3i slash Atlas means it is a much more pristine sample of its home system. A larger body is better at preserving its original composition. This means that 3i slash Atlas is an even more valuable time capsule than we realized. The story of 3i slash Atlas is a beautiful illustration of the scientific process in action. It began with a faint smudge of light, a question mark in the cosmos. It sparked curiosity, leading to a global effort of observation and analysis. And with the application of our most advanced technology, the James Webb Space Telescope, we arrived at a stunning and unexpected answer that completely reshaped our understanding. It's a journey from ignorance to insight, a path driven by our innate need to explore and to understand our place in the universe. This discovery is not an endpoint. It is a new beginning. Every time we point a new telescope at the sky, we are humbled. We are reminded of how much we still have to learn. The universe, it seems, is always more complex, more surprising, and more magnificent than we can imagine. Discoveries like the true size of 3i slash Atlas are what fuel the engine of science. They challenge our theories, force us to redraw our maps of the cosmos, and inspire the next generation of scientists, engineers, and dreamers to ask even bigger questions. The message of 3i slash Atlas is clear. There are wonders beyond our imagination out there, and we have only just begun to see them.